Hey guys, for those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, I wanted to say that I'm finally back. I know I took a little hiatus, but I bought myself a little gift as a remembrance of me coming back and making these videos again. Had to take a little personal time off and haven't really been buying too many watches lately, which is the reason why I kind of took a break. But now that I'm back, I got the perfect watch to kind of celebrate getting back. And today we're going to be looking at the Seiko SSC813, otherwise known as the Panda Speed Timer. All right, guys, let's take a look. So this is the outer box. I know it's been kind of banged up. Unfortunately, this is the condition that my AD received it in, so I do not blame him for that. Pretty standard Prospects box. I'm surprised it's not like the newer boxes. It's more of like the older style that the original uh, Alpinist came in. You know, standard fair box. Nothing too special. And there's the watch, guys. Stunning. So you get the warranty down there. Let's take it off this little pillow. All right, guys, there it is. Just beautiful. And believe it or not, uh, I've been on the wait list for this watch for a very long time, surprisingly. It took me seven months to finally get this watch. So when I finally got the call that it arrived, I was more than excited. I mean, just look at the finishing on this case. Very nice shape, very nice watch. And you can see the crystal kind of has that old school vintage bubble shape there really nice and as you guys can imagine people are going crazy for this watch because not only is it a very good looking seiko chronograph that we finally got a very sporty and good proportion chronograph in a nice colorway but also it reminds many people of the rolex daytona and the ever so popular panda model many people are seeing this as kind of their gateway into getting that watch and kind of being a placeholder until they finally get the call for one of those which as many of you know will take a very very long time but this is a very solid sport watch a very good prospects model uh, Seiko chronograph and another cool thing about this one is it's solar powered and I haven't really reviewed solar powered watches on here much in the past um, I usually stick to automatic and mechanical movements but this one was just such a cool watch and for some reason the solar power movement you know it's growing on me and despite the solar power movement and not having a fully automatic or mechanical movement it does still have some weight to it it has a little heft so it feels very premium so here's the hang tag for those of you that want to see it Seiko prospects model and that is the price that's how much I paid for it 675 and there's not really any bargaining you can do on this or any deals because it's so popular and even someone like me who purchased a lot of watches and usually get them pretty quickly through my AD it still took me seven months to get and that's not my AD's fault for not prioritizing me or someone else it's just the fact that Seiko was really backed up by the popularity of this and by the time I put my order in there were tens of people ahead of me and probably hundreds overall so very popular watch still out of stock on Seiko's website so if you do see one for sale I would say even in the 700 range good price for it I would pay a little bit over to get it a little earlier as long as the price is not too crazy um, but you can just see the finishing on the dial and the handset and even the bezel everything's very nice and the polishing. The bracelet is actually really good quality as well. This is not your standard Seiko 5 bracelet. This is a very nice prospect style bracelet. And being a sport watch, it actually has a solid case back, which I think is really cool and I appreciate that. It just has the Seiko with the X logo. I do wish that Seiko would do something for their chronographs like they do with their divers with the wave pattern on the back. It's still pretty cool. Still like it, very solid. All right, so let's get it on wrist and see how it fits. There it is on wrist, guys. Beautiful fit, you know, very standard sport watch fit. I mean, I think it's the perfect size. You can see both ends of the bracelet and it's very proportionate to my wrist. I have a very small wrist at 6.5 inches, but this fits just perfect. I would say even better than the SKX, honestly. It's just a very proportionate, very good looking watch. This is a Prospects model watch, so I feel like it is part of the upper end Prospects line, but I believe it is not. I feel like it should be there, but I think it's in the same category as the Turtle, other watches that have the 4R movement as opposed to the 6R. So this would be on the lower end side, even though it is priced at 675. Um, it feels like it should be on the higher end side because of the finishing and overall quality of the piece. You should be able to find these at most sake dealers now i see them rolling out and becoming a little more available throughout ad's even though online is still kind of tough but still possible to get this i don't really have too many chronographs so it's really cool to finally have a little variety in the chronograph area and i think this one is just the perfect one um it's not too expensive it fits all the bill for what people are usually looking for in a sports watch and i mean it just looks so beautiful so the speed timer that it's based on is supposed to be the old chronograph that seiko had and you know this is kind of the age of re 
re-editions and remakes of old watches. So this is more of a modern reinterpretation of a classic and I feel like they did a really good job with this one. So if you're looking for a chronograph and you're kind of in that entry level price point, you don't really want to jump the gun for a Speedmaster or you just want something with a cool white dial and you trust Seiko and you just or you're just a Seiko fanatic. Regardless, I think this is a beautiful piece and it deserves to be in everyone's collection. It's just a really nice edition. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be hopefully coming out with a lot more content now and stay tuned for more watches to come. All right, see you next time.